What's up, love squad? It's your girl, and I'm back today with another mini vloggy vlog. Um, not gonna show myself and baby love, not gonna show herself, but she can say what's up, love squad. Hey, love squad. Yeah, we having a lazy day um, up here, and I know y'all see me aiming in on these um, hot dogs. We're gonna show y'all today how we get down with our um, homemade hot dogs. We're gonna do hot dogs for y'all. Um, I have some ground beef over here. I'm going to make some homemade chili. Um, my auntie made this when I was a little girl. And I fell in love with it when we were at her house. So we've um, been keeping it in the family. And it's simple. It's, it's real quick. It's real easy. It's basically We're basically going to use um, some ground beef. Which I rarely ever eat. And I have an onion in the house so I'm going to do that with some seasoning spices my house is a mess y'all today it's uh, weekend after Mother's Day I'm going to use this little um, this little um, skillet thingamajig right here because I don't feel like having to clean my um, cooktop which I'm probably going to have to do anyway because of the grease splatters and baby love holding up our DQ coleslaw we can't live without it for our homemade um, chili dogs and so we usually put that on there and some relish and I'm gonna season up my chili with some black pepper some seasonal some um, garlic salt and some onion salt powder. onion powder garlic powder pardon me and what else? I think that's it, right, baby? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's about it. All we put for and our ketchup. for our seasonings. Yeah, we're gonna add some ketchup to it and um, do that. So for this section of the room, uh, um, we just got this little metal pan, and we like our barbie. We like our um, franks. We like them cooked in the oven like more roasted I'm not into that little soggy boil, boil weaning we don't do that that's nasty but we're gonna do um, some ballpark beef franks like I said before in one of my vlogs we like to do Hebrew I said Hebrew old national but we like to do Hebrew national or the Nathan's. yeah or Nathan's but you know we're on budget so I just got these ballparks so, baby love, I'm going to show y'all how she do this. So, get down with the get down. First thing, what you going to do? Wash them. Wash them. You wash your... I want to say wash your... Meat. Yeah, or your meat, but just... Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, she's going to take it over and she's going to wash it. And, like I said, guys, um, this is going to be a quick vloggy vlog because... It's a um, couple of days after Mother's Day. Oh, guys, let me tell y'all about Mother's Day while we're waiting for um, Baby Love to do that. Um, Mother's Day was a hot mess. Don't you agree, um, yes. Baby Love? Well, and I'm going to tell y'all why. I'm going to start. Let me go ahead and put my ground beef in my skillet. So, we're... Um, I'm sorry, darling. My baby was talking to me. We forgot to take them out last night but that's okay you know it's not a crime you could just put them in your oven we put them on about what 380 yeah we did like 380 on our oven and we just gonna put them in there and let them cook down i'm sorry i, I may have gotten a little bit of you oh uh, she can edit herself out because i mean we are having you know i'm not in there i'm fine uh, okay i'm comfortable i'm comfortable too i'm trying not to get myself y'all uh, oh yeah but like i was saying okay we're gonna put those in we're gonna go ahead and let those cook go ahead shut that door that's hot girl. Yeah, that's what you call it you want to catch yourself so like, yeah that's what i was saying but um so i know i said that cooking hot dogs on top on top of the stove and that's but guess what bing 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 my baby um puppy love, puppy love. <laughs> oh go pup <laughs> he like his um old school style so you like well, hot dogs and loose back <laughs> I'm not going there with you. Mm -mm, I ain't doing that. So I got my chopping board out, guys. I'm going to get a camera to um, 
Baby love. And what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna cut. We didn't have no onion that we already cut. I didn't see one. Okay, and it's pretty onion. Okay. I'm gonna go in and see I don't really need a lot. So I'm gonna cut about like that much. Cause we like the flavor, you know, of the onion. But yeah, back to Mother's Day, y'all. Oh my god. I took some brown liquor to my mama house, y'all, and it went down. It went down. I need for y'all to meet my mom. I don't know if she ready to be out here vlogging with me or whatnot. But oh my God. I did one of my specialties. We did though the signature um, three rum daiquiri. Mm -hmm. Baby, I took them all down. I wasn't meaning to take them down. How it happened, guys, was basically I made them and I didn't make them too strong, you know, trying to have mercy on the good people because it's my it's Mother's Day. So um, I made some for my sister and my mom. Did you drink any baby love? Mm hmm. Okay, I made one for baby love. I wasn't really drinking, guys, because, you know, I'm not a drinker. I will partake every blue moon and something, but I don't drink. I make them, like I told y'all in one of my other videos, I make a mean cocktail, but I, I don't partake. Mm -mm, nah. Those days are over for me. So, you know, I just like to be the hostess, a mistress of ceremony. You know, I do my fingers. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. Okay, that looks like the perfect amount. I usually will go through with my knife and then just try to finally chop them as fine as possible. And the thing about onions is, in my house when I cook onions, the, the smell, it just lingers. So sometimes I, I don't even want to cook them. So yeah, anyway, so y'all gave my mom some brown liquor. And baby, her whole, tr it was like truth serum. And we was clutching our pearls over there because we like, what? I mean, it was like true serum, guys. So, yeah, she gave me a lot of information. I mean, I'm like, tell me how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel about this thing. But, yeah, we had a good Mother's Day. Um, I did a partial vlog. I might put a little snippet of it right here to show you guys, you know. You know, what a nice mother. That I had my kids and my hubby they really you know did very nice things for me but everybody who knows me on a personal level they know um, I'm sentimental so the sentimental things mean more to me than anything like I said guys this is one of those videos where I'm not half in it it's just that we were tired y'all so we're gonna do it old school style if you forgot to take out your ground <laughs> and you had to take it out there so we just gotta do it old school guys you need me to turn it on it's not on yeah turn it on from baby love. so i'm just gonna crumble up my ground beef in this skillet Are you focused in on me, girl? Mm -hmm. We was gonna do a, we were gonna do a mukbang for y'all on these um, chili dogs, homemade chili slaw dogs, but we're just dragging tail today, so I don't know. I doubt it. What you think, baby love? Maybe not this time, but they're so easy to make. We'll definitely do one. Yeah, guys. Guys, we're slipping. I I, I, I did want to say this to y'all. Shout out. See, I'm just adding this uh, Morton's Season on. I'm going to sprinkle a little that in there. It's got good flavor to it. But shout out to the daily vloggers. I give y'all mad respect. Because I'm telling y'all, this was a day for me where I wasn't feeling the best. I have some real bad days, guys. And took everything and me pick up a camera. This just that old good old McCormick. And then we're gonna do this onion powder. Onion. Okay. A little bit because we got those fresh onions. And just a little garlic. Baby love, she she's seasoned princess. 
she likes to season her food heavily. And I'm not with that. And I'm just putting these onions on the side because what I'm trying to do is I want a little, just a little bit of caramelization to those. So I'm sorry for that freaking guy. So we're going to put those to the side. Bike it up. Bike it up. <laughs> Got to back up my camera a little bit so I get a little bit of work space going here. I usually would do this on my um, so island. Yeah, on my stove. Yeah, you're right, baby. Look, it usually, I usually do this on my stove top. But I'm trying not to mess it up because I don't want to have to take out my Wyman's and clean my stove top. See, so yeah, I'm leaving them onions on to the side like that. And y'all, it's raining and it's very humid. Oh my God, and I got my windows up. I got to turn the air on for a minute. I can't do this. So, um, yeah, I had to turn the air on. So basically, I'm just going to go in and try to brown this beef. Like I said, normally my beef. Baby love, it's my little helpful buddy. I appreciate her so much. I appreciate all my kids, actually, because all my kids bring different things into my life, different qualities into my life that I couldn't live without. She happens to be um, my only biological daughter. So when it comes to the cooking and stuff, me and her, we get down with the get down. But yeah, shout out to the daily vloggers because let me tell you something. Sometimes, you know, I ask baby love, uh, do you want to do this? And she's like, we'll do it tomorrow. And then you can chime in. Uh, then tomorrow, turn into tomorrow, turn into tomorrow turn into tomorrow and then it don't get done but i mean i am dedicated to my channel guys i want to bring y'all as much content as i possibly can some days it just doesn't happen the way how i want it to happen for me but i said when i was upstairs i said let me get up and get my love squad a little bit show them a little love today and then once i do this I'm hungry, y'all. I know I say that a lot. And I really don't like to eat a lot of ground beef. So sometimes we even do this with ground chicken. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds like, what? But, ouch, it works well. Good. Yeah, it's real good with the chicken, too. But today we're going to work with what we have. But, yeah, I just, I'm not going to ramble too much, guys. But I just wanted to say... Show mad love for the daily vloggers. I said that three times now. I mean, they work hard. <laughs> Think about how our week has been. I get it. Just you said it three times. You, you, you won't even help me. I told you come down. Well, I, you know, I try to get her input. She like my producer, and she tried to keep me on the straight and narrow, like. So, I try to listen to what she say, so she be all up in my nerve cavities, all throughout my nerve cavities. I be shaking and trembling, and then she'll go, you don't say that about the boys. No, you don't. What about the boys? You don't say that about them. Y'all, I'm grounding this beef up. So, it's a competition. It's always a competition with them. It's not a competition. It's the reality. I think any, if you have siblings and you know your relationship with your parents, your parents will have a different relationship with each sibling. They're not going to love them any different, but how they interact with them is different. Now, a mom, she's just looking at it like she's interacting with her kids. But as one of the children, you're looking at it like there's a difference. Not a hurtful difference, but a difference is a difference. Okay, guys, you see how far I am with this? I want this beef um, really browned up. No pink, no none of that. Well done for me, guys. This is a simple chili recipe. And we only use it for our hot dogs, right, baby love? Mm -hmm. Just the hot dogs. I think that's really the only thing we eat this kind of chili on. Well, I've never done a burger with chili on or anything like that. Yeah. Sometimes we get lazy and we'll buy the um, we'll buy the um, chili from DQ2, Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. 
but I had to send my honey down to get the coleslaw before work and he was annoyed because I sent him one direction to one DQ and when he got there he said the line was packed and then they tried to charge him a dollar per scoop of um, coleslaw y'all a dollar per scoop and y'all saw that little cup that's what a pint mm -hmm. yeah we always get a little pint cup of it and then our regular DQ up the street from us we usually get it for how much i think it's like it's like two dollars yeah. for a pint or 50 cents for like a small cup yeah we use, a small cup yeah so he was saying that um they wanted to charge him a a friggin dollar per scooter i'm like what in the world he said i should have went where my mind told me to go i should have went to the other one but he was saying that he didn't want to be, you know, late for work or whatnot. He don't play. That man don't play when it comes to work. That man will hurt somebody to get out the door to get to that J.O.B. now. Shout out to all the hard working hubbies in the world. Because, oop, did it burn you? <laughs> it popped me I'm going to pull bit. that off. Okay. So, oop, I'm going to be careful. I'm trying to burn myself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get my colander out. And I'm going to put this ground beef in my colander. And I'm going to drain the oil off them. Put it back in the pan. Then I'm going to show y'all guys what's up. So now we're just going to put some ketchup in here. And the purpose behind putting the ketchup in here while it's, the skillet's still on is to caramelize that ketchup. You want to actually caramelize your ketchup into that ground beef. This old school, I almost want to use the word ghetto style, but that's not the correct terminology for this. Like I said, I must have been about, I don't know, how old was I? I might have been about 12 and I visited my um, aunt and she said, do y'all want chili dogs? And this is what she served us with a hot dog. Oh, that stuff burning. It popped out. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that ketchup, y'all, that pop. Mm -mm. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't like that. I don't like that popping. That hurts. <laughs> but I wanted to ask y'all, what are some of the things y'all want to see on my channel? Because I was um, mentioning when I did a um, product review of my cleaning supplies that I was going to do a... I'm going to put top on this, y'all. I, 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 can't, I can't have that popping pop locking on my on my arm um what type of videos do y'all want to see because i can do a get i mean a, i'm sorry i could do a i'm put a little bit more ketchup y'all i want that really good caramelization of that ketchup um i want to do a clean with me because i'm the clean queen and then i wanted to do or get ready with me with baby love. I, I find I might be able to do it better on her than I would myself. I tried videoing a get ready with me and man the end result was bomb. The beginning was a was a bomb show. It was a, a hot diggity darn mess. And I, sh I reviewed that video prior to putting it up to give, get some feedback from my hubby. And the look he gave me like, I wish you, I wish you would. So, no, nah, that never did go up. That content never did go up, guys. It just was a, it was just a, a shite show. It was a shite show. Okay. I'm going to cover that and let it get a little bit more caramelization. And then that's going to be ready for us. Okay. All right, guys. So, I have my little two little old hot dogs here. And first thing I'm going to do is I got a little leftover shredded cheese from when we had tacos. I'm going to put a little shredded cheese on these little nasty hot dogs. <laughs> good and nasty. When I say now, that means good, people. Don't get it twisted now. Okay, put a little bit of this, um, what's that, Mexican cheese? I don't know, it's on the bag. Read it. Fiesta. So, um, you see when you cook them in the, in the stove they get caramelization then what I normally put on that second um baby love ketchup and mustard I think so yeah I'm gonna put my ketchup and mustard on next I'm gonna shake my ketchup because have y'all ever put ketchup on y'all stuff or mustard on y'all stuff and that water come out hates it okay put a little of that on there mm -hmm. that's a lot of ketchup that's how I like it okay 
plentiful, bountiful, and catch up land. Okay, now I'm putting my mustard. If that water still come out, y'all, I got to start all over again. She don't do that. She don't like that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Y'all don't like that juicy. I don't, lo I don't like that loose ketchup, that juicy ketchup, and that juicy. Um. So next, I'm going in with this. Look at this, um, guys. This is my auntie's homemade chili. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to press Press it, baby. Okay. She's so hungry, y'all. She's so hungry. I'm so hungry, y'all. Only thing I had today to eat was a smoothie. And for me to be eating this ground um, beef, I'm very hungry because I don't eat ground beef very often. I'm a chicken girl. Most anything I can substitute ground chicken with, that's what I do. So you're just going to press it down on there, make it all pretty. Baby love like, hurry up. Um, while when I'm ready to eat, I'm piling it on there. Coleslaw. Oh yeah, we gotta get our coleslaw, guys. Get that. And if y'all have never had BQ coleslaw on your hot dogs at home, go get you some. They'll sell it so to you like right that. Uh uh. DQ is Dairy Queen. If y'all don't. Dairy know. Queen. Okay. <sighs> See, I'm going to pile that slaw. This is a chili slaw dog with ketchup, mustard, cheese, and relish. I'm a relish girl, y'all. See how I'm... And coleslaw. Yeah, and coleslaw. I said coleslaw. Uh, uh, you said ketchup, mustard, cheese. No, I said chili. chili slaw dog. I know you just That's, named all the ingredients. The slaw is implied. How about leaving me alone, baby love? Okay. 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 Put that slaw on there. I'm going to slap her one. I'm going to give her a good slap. Y'all, this is how we show yourself. our love. Say what now? I said you should keep your hands to yourself. And if I don't, what you going to do? I already told you Mother's Day was one day. <laughs> okay. See how I'm putting that relish on there, y'all? Everybody don't like relish. So if you don't like relish, you just omit this. But we like relish, me and baby love. We love relish. Be careful because that um lets out a little juice too. Ooh, I don't like uh uh. Yeah. Uh uh. Okay. It's a little small spoon. Oh. I'm gonna shake it down, guys. And I'm in this kitchen, guys, and I'm sweating like I was on the chain game. So I gotta get up out of here. It is hot in the ATL today. It's not hot, it's muggy, guys, and mugginess is worse than heat. I'm sweating like I'm on the chain gang. Okay. <sighs> Serving time up in this piece. Okay, guys. And then we got some of these delicious, um, let me get a taste of that chili. Baked beans. We have Not baked good. beans. Mm -hmm. We got some bush baked beans. For my side, I just got some of these bush baked beans. Just a home. These are original. And a sister on a diet. But see, y'all, when y'all play y'all's up, make them prettier than that. Don't do not do that. Let me clean that up. Okay. I'm going to clean that off. Make that real pretty. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sit that like that. You're going to sit that like that. You're going to put that on there like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick your fork down in there like that. Okay. And that is our chili slaw dogs, y'all. Y'all try this recipe, especially this old good old um, chili. And... um. Let me know what y'all think and give me some feedback on some videos that y'all want to see, some vlogs. Because I'm going to do a little bit of clean with me next week while y'all see me cleaning my pantry, my refrigerator, and all that good stuff. But this is it, love squad. So we're going to go on and get down with the get down. So until next time, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thumbs me up now. Thumbs me up.